Hey y'all, welcome to my channel where um, bows will be made and you will most definitely hear dogs barking in the background at some point or another. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed lately um, and also a couple of tutorials ago I um, initiated a giveaway and I have you know a few people trickling in every day uh, to uh, get signed up for that giveaway so if you haven't um, it's tutorial number 10 you can watch it and and follow the rules to sign up for the giveaway and I just want to thank everyone so much for subscribing and all of your kind words that really means a lot to me because I know the tutorials are you know pretty bland and not edited and like I said dogs barking in the background but <clears throat> anyway I basically just do the tutorials to help anybody out with some ideas or you know whatever so they're nothing fancy um, now this tutorial today we're gonna do we're gonna scale the bows down a little bit we've been doing some pretty large bows uh, this time we're gonna do some pigtail bows they're a little bit small um, and the theme is Shopkins again okay and the idea behind this is okay those of you who have little girls um, who like Shopkins probably have a bazillion of these things laying around your house and you probably have extras okay well this is a great use for them you can uh, make pigtail bows or just regular bows or whatever um, but with the pigtail bows if you've got two of the same kind uh, then you can use them as centerpieces okay so we're just going to do a quick simple one not a whole lot of work to these <clears throat> um, you don't even need your wood burning tool but what we do need of course is our glue gun you want to get a couple of alligator clips um, and of course I've already made one so but you'll need two if you're making two um, you want to get two Shopkins of course that match okay now let me say something about this you want to try to get um, a pair that have somewhat of a large back to them or a flat back okay um, because that makes it easier for them to stay on if it's round or you know real thin or whatever um, you know you're gonna have a hard time keeping these in the middle and you won't keep them in the middle with hot glue okay so you definitely need to get the E6000 uh, for these they will not abs absolutely will not stay on with hot glue unless you are just very lucky okay uh, let's see need a lighter probably for this one scissors uh, your creasing tools you know the salon clip or whatever if you use that um, I'm not using needle and thread to today I'm just gonna use some string um, I got this at Walmart you know like in the yarn section okay <clears throat> I'm also using a straight pen um, you know with the little ball on the end of it okay for my spikes um, I believe that's it okay I'm sure I forgot something but anyway um, <clears throat> alright my measurements here each spike is five inches long okay so what you want to do is get you know coordinating ribbons here this is my printed Shopkins ribbon um, I don't know it's kind of a rainbow color and then I used uh, this like electric blue um, <clears throat> royal blue whatever you want to call it to coordinate with the printed ribbon okay and this is a one and a half inch I've cut it to ten inches long because I'm just gonna simply cut it in half from my two spikes okay and then I have um, you need to get like a a smaller really you need a 3 8 piece but I'm just gonna fold this 5 8 piece in half to go around the center okay and then um, my Shopkins ribbon <clears throat> and you don't have to use Shopkins ribbon you know if you don't have any 
um, you know, you can just use whatever you have and just glue the Shopkins in the middle. But um, anyway, I'll leave a link below in the descriptions box um, to where I got this one at. And um, anyway, this one is cut to 20 inches. Um, if you don't want it quite that big, you can go down to 18 or 19 inches, but I wouldn't really go any less than that for this size bow. Okay. All right. To get started, <clears throat> basically what I do is I take my one and a half inch and I want to crease it. I want a nice visible crease. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and simply cut it in half. Okay. And then I'm going to leave them stacked on top of each other and I'm going to do V cuts or dovetail cuts as I like to call them to make my spikes. Now I'm only making two spikes for this. Like I said, it's a very quick and simple bow. Alright, you want to heat seal your ends. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to go to my other side and do the same thing. You want to dovetail the other end of your spikes. And then I'm going to heat seal. Okay. <clears throat> now you can do three spikes if you want to. Um, you know, I'm just going to do two. It's just a simple, quick bow. But if you want three spikes or four spikes or whatever, you can certainly do that. Now, um, you know, if you like to do the accordion fold kind of thing and, and you know, do your spikes like that, um, you certainly can. I am going to actually fold mine in half. This is another uh, method, I guess you could say. I'm going to fold mine in half and get a visible crease in the middle. And then I'm going to get my straight pin and poke it through with the ball on top. Okay. And then I just fan it out like that. And I don't have mine fanned out very far. <clears throat> you can tell on this one it's not very far. Okay. Now for my spikes, I like to use this little um, creasing tool, the Gator Bite had it for a long long time and I'm just gonna put it right there like an extra pair of hands and at this point you can take your pen out of the middle put it to the side and like I said I'm not going to use the needle and thread you can you can use the needle and thread if you want to I'm just gonna get a little piece of yarn here or string or whatever and I'm going to, I mean, it really doesn't matter what uh, side, I guess, you, you end up finishing on. I like to finish in the back. All right, and then I go ahead and start to tie, but I don't push it all, you know, I don't go all the way and crease it. I go ahead and feed it back around to the back side. And one thing I like about the gator bite is um, your spikes or your bow or whatever you have in the middle um, will not shift because the teeth are holding it in place. But I don't like it for everything. Okay, so once it's around to the back, then I just simply pull it to where it creases in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> and then I just kind of make sure you know, with my spikes, that's what I want. And then I go ahead and tie my knot off in the back. And then cut off the excess. <clears throat> okay, and see it's just two spikes, that's it. And you could certainly put rhinestones, you know, like we had before or whatever. Um, 
but hence the word simple. <clears throat> and that's, you know, what I'm going for here. Okay, so we just kind of want to put that to the side. And we're going to get our Shopkins ribbon out. Okay, or whatever you're going to use for your bow. <clears throat> now, in all of the other tutorials um, so far, I've um, used the boutique bow method. This one, um, we're going to do the uh, figure eight bow, and, and um, there are so many tutorials <clears throat> on how to do that one. Um, so mine is no different. I simply fold my ribbon in half and get that crease in the middle. Again, a real visible crease. <clears throat> and you can even get a pen or a pencil or whatever and mark it if you need to. All right, so my crease is right there. And then I start on the right hand side and bring my ribbon over. I'm going to overlap that piece in the middle. Okay, and then I take the other piece here and you go around the other way and you have your figure eight and you want a skinny eight um, or at least I do and it you know it makes your bow loopier if that makes any sense <clears throat> okay and then you go back to the right hand side and bring your center to the middle okay and like I said, there are a lot of tutorials on this, so this is nothing new. And then you go to the left side, and you bring your center and overlap about halfway or so that first piece. And this is actually the back of your bow. All right, so then you turn it around, and this is what you have. And one dif difference here from the boutique bow is you don't have a, um, a tail hanging down. No tails on this one. It's just kind of a crisscross method. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a different salon clip. <clears throat> for some reason, for these little bows, I like this skinny wire uh, salon clip. I have, you know, different types. This one's a wire one. I believe hair bow center... Um, sells these. You might even be able to get them at Sally's. Okay, so I've got my bow in my salon clip and you know if you prefer to do the accordion fold then that's your choice. Okay, and again I always like to measure my loops by pulling them down making sure that they're even and adjusting if not. Alright, same thing here and I'm pretty satisfied with that. Pull it over just a tad. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to get another piece of string here and do the same thing that I did with the spikes. I'm going to feed it through the back. Okay, and I'm going to not pull it very tight. Okay. I'm going to tie it in the middle. Go back around to the back. <clears throat> okay. And tie it again. Drop my string. Okay. Alright. And then I'm going to pull it. And if it stays, then you can go ahead and knot it off. But, you know, depending on what type of ribbon you use, you may have to go back around to the front, retie it, or, you know, whatever. <clears throat> okay. And then uh, this is, you know, about what you should have. All right. And then you just cut the excess off the back. Okay, and then you just kind of adjust your bow. And some people like to, uh, I noticed in some of the tutorials, they like to pull them real hard like this or whatever um, to kind of make, I guess, a skinnier bow. Um, but, you know, again, this is simple. We're not going to do that. We don't have a lot of spikes. This is not an over-the-top bow. Okay. All right, so you've got your little simple bow here. 
Okay, and you get your spikes. And we're just going to get our glue gun. Put a little glue in the middle. And attach. And another thing you can do if you want a stiffer or crunchier bow, you can certainly spray it with the stiff and quick or, you know, the hairspray. You know, whatever. Okay, so now we have our bow on top of the spikes. Okay. And then the next thing I do... Um, with these. I prefer Brett's, but I do understand that alligator clips are best for the smaller bows. <clears throat> Alright, so I get my glue gun here and just put a little bit. And this is not a lined alligator clip. So I'm just going to open it up and place the top part on there and let it dry so that when I release the bottom it doesn't glue itself together. Okay, And you can line them if you want to. I'm just trying to do a quick tutorial. Okay. And so, you know, so far that's what you have. Now, um, <clears throat> You want to take your 3 8 or, or whatever. Like I said, I just grabbed this 5 8 real quick. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just going to heat seal this first end here, hopefully without starting a fire. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over to the back and basically just surround the uh, middle of the bow with the coordinating ribbon. And then you just surround the, the center. sinuses are bad today. Alright, then I'm going to cut excess off and I'm going to heat seal here. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and get that glued down in the center. Okay. Alright, so after that you just want to straighten your bow. And again, there's nothing fancy about this at all. It's just simple. You know, you can certainly, like I said, make an over-the-top bow, um, but these are just simple um, ponytail or, you know, yeah, ponytail bows. Okay, just like a little set of them. <clears throat> okay, now we're almost finished. Now I've got um, my little cupcake here to finish off the set. Now you can put felt on the back of this. Um, I really don't think since you're using the E6000 that it's going to make 
a bit of difference really um, you know because if you hot glue the felt on sometimes you know that that uh, with these you know it makes it worse now with with um, bottle caps you know yes I do that um, but actually with the Shopkins you just take your E6000 and put it right on the back there and um, I mean you want to put a fairly generous amount the only bad thing you know is this takes a little time to glue or not glue a little time to uh, dry all right so you want to hold it there for a few seconds to kind of let it set and make sure you have it where you want it okay and what I do to help it you know dry faster is I have a little fan <clears throat> a little table fan that I put you know that I turn on and I put the bows in front okay so that's probably what I'll end up doing um, with this one I did I did it with the other and you'll see why you need to choose Shopkins that kind of have like I said a, a back that you can put it you know a little bit flatter like I I have a couple of of these I don't know exactly what the heck that is um, I don't know the names of all these but anyway this is a good one because you know there's a, a flatter back on this one okay so <clears throat> um, another thing I want to show you real quick before we close these are um, some other options and you can you know you can get other things um, in the felties besides Shopkins I mean you know felties um, that you know there are a lot of Etsy companies that make these felties uh, specifically for bow centers or just for clippies okay and oh they're so cute I have so many of these um, this is the I guess the soda pop okay these are uncut and I can leave um, the link to where I got these I have some glitter vinyl ones too that are awesome and they really don't cost any more in my opinion than uh, bottle cap images or resins or whatever okay um, they are I don't think any more than a dollar a piece and sometimes resins cost more than that look at the pop darts love it okay and then that's um popsicle and can't see it real well but this is the Hershey kiss and cupcakes anyway I have tons of these and that's another option like I said for you know centerpieces on these uh, these small ones <clears throat> I don't necessarily put them on the big ones but I mean, you can put them anywhere I put them in the over-the-top bows and um, you know a lot of different ones um, the funky loopy bows I do a lot of of the uh, felt pieces in in the Shopkins uh, funky loopy bows okay so that's um, it for our tutorial I'm hoping to get another one up in a couple of days um, I want to share a Facebook uh, ribbon group with you uh, to you know give you another place to get your ribbon and and hopefully I'll be doing uh, several videos and and showing you some of their ribbon um, but again, please uh, go and enter the giveaway, uh, tutorial number 10, I believe it is, <clears throat> and uh, that giveaway, the drawing for the giveaway will be held at the end of this month, April 2016. Okay, so thanks so much. All of you have been so supportive with nice, kind words, and I very much appreciate it. Um, I'm going to leave a link to my email and uh, the Big Southern Bows Facebook page. Please go to, uh, you know, the Facebook page and, and I'm, you know, adding tons of pictures. And uh, please leave me some of your creations. I'd love to see them. And any questions you have, email me, make a comment. Um, usually the same day I get back with, with everyone. Um, and if I don't, I sincerely apologize I'm trying to you know 
do really well with that. So anyway, thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.